uh, Bonja Batoon. I'm a nurse anesthetist at one of the busiest trauma centers in the States, or even that for the world for the most part. Anyways, I want to talk to you guys about a, a technique I was playing, playing with a little while ago. Um, and it's a combination of uh, an ET2 and a flex guy type of bougie. And what I call this is going to be called the um, bougie style of ET2. And so what I'm basically going to do is take this ET2 and we're going to style it with the bougie. So some will call this preloading your bougie um, on your ET2. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this end here, I'm going to fold it. Fold it once this way. And then I'm going to fold the back end back up. It's almost so it makes a little bit of a Z. That other end that I'm going to do, that fold apart, I'm going to stick it in the back side of the endotracheal tube. And it's going to stabilize the bougie, bougie with the endotracheal tube at the end. So what, you should, what it should come out to be something like this. The ET2 and the bougie basically stabilize at the end of the ET2. The beauty of this type of technique is that um, it combines the best of both worlds, right? So you have an um, ET2 that's already preloaded. The other thing is you can use this almost like a bougie as you normally would. Ergonomic wise, you go through the same types of motion that you would generally do when you do your intubation. Say for example, you have a stylated um, ET2, trying to do your DL, and then you do, you go in with your ET2 in the normal type of motion. The additional benefit of doing a um, flex guide or a bougie towards the end is that it makes it a little bit easier for you to guide in tight places Maybe you see only the epiglottis, um, and you want to get your use it as a, um, a bougie or a flex guy to get it in. Um, the advantage of this versus using a um, preloaded bougie with no stabilization at the end is that if you touch structures, what will happen is that the ET2 will actually back out, and then you won't have um, your you won't be able to get your Flex got into the vocal uh, the glottic opening. So the beauty of this is to stabilize the bougie within the ET tube, and then you can actually get to the vocal cords and then pass your tube in one, uh, one smooth motion. And it's a very natural thing for us to do. So bougies, generally what you do is you take your um, microscope, you do a DL, and then you take your bougie, you slide it over, and assistant or somebody else slides the ET tube over the um, bougie and then you pass your ET2 through like so. Like I said, with this, this is truly a one-person technique where you put in your um, stylated, loosely stylated ET tube into the vocal cords and you can slide it down, slide your tube down exactly where you need it. In that next motion, you just pull your stylet out, right, right up, just like that, and then inflate your, um, your balloon or your cuff. Check in total CO2 and all the other good stuff. I'm going to have a video here to follow this up, and this video will just basically show you the motions as it goes through. But like I said, really, essentially, this costs actually no extra money. Usually stuff that we already have available to us already. Take your bougie, bring it on through, get a good couple of inches out of there, take the back in, fold it over. And like I said, you fold it over and then you kind of fold it in the middle. Once you do that, like I said, I think it comes into this little Z pattern. And then you just stuff it in the back part of your endotracheal tube. And like I said, that stabilizes the contraption. And so now you have a ET tube that is stable in there and won't um, back out when it touches some of the structures in the oral pharynx or what have you. The other thing about this too is that you can actually change the direction of the tip simply by taking out the back end and spinning it. And will actually stabilize the bougie in the direction that you wish to um, guide it to. So you can do left, right, or whatever, whatever you want to do with it, and it actually just stays in that position. I said, again, I'll take it, and that bougie will not back out. I said it's a very smooth um, and easy motion once you get the um, once you get the motion down. All right. Next, we'll follow. I'll give you a couple of videos. We'll be doing this on the mannequin. Thank you.